The Holloway's handicap hurdle is next. And this is over the curious distance of two miles and three furlongs. And it's a grade two handicap. And the top one is Mandrake Root for Martin Leedham. King of Spades for Ryan Tavasebi. Rave Express for Craig Beckwith. Guilty Perfect for David Hooley. Teasel Bing for David Robertson. Parabolica for Paul Rhodes. Colebrook Answer for Graham Clutterbuck. Ice Lock for Obi-Wan. Days Baron Darren Thompson. And his land Alex Cherry. The Red Baron. Joshua Sutherland, La Paz Moose for Vinnie Gerard, Sanchan Value and Hillbury Wars for Ryan Costello and Overcast for Ollie McCormick. 15 of them then. And oh, the rain's still coming down. Dark skies, away they go. And it's going to be Annie's Land. Looks like it's going to be the first one to show with the Red Baron and Mandrake Root also close up as they get over the first. And over the first, it's Mandrake Root has now gone off into the lead, but Annie's Land's got the rail and the inside, so we'll probably end up taking it up as they come round this turn and does so with Ice Lock also moving through into second. Mandrake Root settling back into third place, then Sayashan Value and the Red Baron. Parabolica is after that, then Hillbury Wars. And towards the back, Overcast is the early back marker. They've still got two miles to go. And Ice Lock is in the lead by about a head as they get to the second. Which they're all safely over. And Ice Lock and Annie's Land disputing the lead in there. Five lengths clear of Sayashan Value in the Red Baron and the Grey Parabolica. With Mandrake Root last week's winner on the top weight. Just behind them. I'm surprised to see that on top weight in this. With some big stables represented as we get a look at them from presumably the winning post I guess this is and you see them racing towards us just how dark it is it's looking too good weather wise at the moment as they pass that winning post then with a complete circuit to go and race away from us and they're going to swing right handed as you can see and then race down the back straight and then back round again and it's Annie's Land and Ice Lock that dispute the lead and they're a good six clear of Sashar value on the inside in third then the grey Parabolica with Red Baron and Mandrake Root together then comes Colebrook Answer, King of Spades is after that one Rave Express going round the outside then Guilty Perfect in the purple jacket with Teasel Bing in the turquoise and maroon hoops just tucked in behind them is Days Baron with the white sleeves and then the two shades of green at the back La Paz Moose with the one just coming into shot there Hillbury Wars the one that is out of shot is outcast but they've got over four now and they're all still on their feet racing down towards flight number five with Annie's Land in the lead as they get to the fifth Annie's Land and Ice Lock jumped it well together. they all jumped it okay Mandrake Root a little bit slow in the pack Annie's Land and Ice Lock disputing it then with half the jumping done now got five more to take and Annie's Land and Ice Lock come to this one and they get over it nicely in front all over it well with Parabolic and our clear third Sashar value fourth Red Baron is fifth and uh, then Colbrook answer King of Spades on the inside then Teasel Bing then Mandrake Root and Rave Express with tucked in behind that one Days Baron and Guilty Perfect and then La Paz Moose Hillbury Wars and finally Overcast at the back so Ice Lock has a half length advantage then racing down to the fourth last the lead is probably now no more than a neck as they get to the fourth last and they get over that one and they almost land together Mandrake Root untidy again and closer to the back on the front but it's Annie's land that's gone on again now by three quarters of a length to Ice Lock in second Parabolic is third here comes the Red Baron now swooping round the outside Sashar Valley is trying to get as well they take the third last Teasel Bing's there as well King of Spades trying to run on so is Colebrook Ants around the outside plenty in with chances La Paz Moose is making a forward move as well as they begin to turn towards home then they've still got three more flights to take and it's Annie's Land in the lead Annie's Land from King of Spades in second two more flights to take sorry it's Annie's Land in front King of Spades though has now come through to challenge the lead Alice hit the front King of Spades goes on from Annie's Land in second Red Baron back in third then Ice Lock and Parabolic they coming out of Aussie final two flights now then over the second last and King of Spades gets over everyone and gets away from it well opens up by four or five lengths has this one taken the race on the turn chasing out of the pack is Guilty Perfect coming out of Aussie final flight then now King of Spades is clear Guilty Perfect is the only one making ground in second over the final flight they go and King of Spades is well clear and they're not going to get anywhere near it I don't think the jockey is quite comfortable on the lead and there's 
less than a furlong to go and racing up towards the line the king of spades is going to take the holloway hurdle look towards the line it's a win for the king of spades king of spades is the winner guilty perfect is second red baron is going to be third then parabolic and teasel being on the pass moose and the third will trail all the way back to hillby walls and overcast and pretty easy win in the end in a race that looked like it was going to be quite competitive the king of spades took it without too much fuss and the king of spades takes it for ryan tamasevi guilty perfect for david hooley was second the red baron for joshua sutherland third parabolica for paul rose fourth and teasel bing for david robertson was fifth